What to do, YouTube? The voice of reason is back. I know it's been a while since we actually did one of these. Uh, I missed you guys. Um, I appreciate everybody that uh, actually reached out. I was like, yo, what's going on with you? Like, when you coming back? I really didn't give a definitive answer when I was actually going to be coming back. Uh, had to go through some things. But uh, perfect way to come back. You know, I love me some free agency. Been doing this for like six years. Try to get myself back up to speed. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody that checks out this video and the future videos and also the new people that are coming through. Uh, welcome to the channel, man. We're going to try to keep it going. Um, possibly my favorite free agency signing so far is the Jordan Howard, the Miami Dolphins signing Jordan Howard. It was a $10 million deal. On average, about five five million a year. I love this move. I love it, man. I love it. When you look at the Miami Dolphins in 2019, the Miami Dolphins were ranked 32nd in running the football, which was, what, 72.2 yards a game? That was last. That was dead last. The Miami Dolphins needed some, needed some help at the running back position. When you look at the Miami Dolphins leading rushes last year, yeah, Ryan Fitzpatrick sitting with 243 yards rushing. You have Mark Walton, who had 201. You know the Miami Dolphins ended up cutting him because he ended up punching a pregnant chick, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Kenyon Drake, we ended up trading him to the Arizona Cardinals. He had like 174 yards in total. Patrick Layard, 168. Uh, Kalen Balaj, 135. He ended up getting hurt. And Miles Gaskin had 133. So, yeah, the Miami Dolphins were in a dire need for a running back. Now, the deal is is very is very team friendly. I like I like the deal. That's number one because it's a low risk, high reward deal. When you look at Jordan Howard, Jordan Howard had multiple thousand yard rushing seasons with the Chicago Bears. Last year, he ended up getting traded to the Philadelphia Eagles. He uh, ended up ending the season with 119 carries, 525 yards, averaging 4.4 yards a carry, with six touchdowns. He ended up getting injured in week nine against the Chicago Bears. And then as the season progressed, he Miles, excuse me, Miles Sanders took over for the Philadelphia Eagles as far as as far as the rushing duties. So Jordan Howard ended up losing the spot. So with that being said, from what I seen from Jordan Howard, because to be honest, I had Jordan Howard, I drafted Jordan Howard on my fantasy team last year, and I had him put, I put him a top five rusher last year and he was on pace to rush for over a thousand yards before he got injured in week nine last year in the 2019 season so if the Miami Dolphins can somewhat put up a decent offensive line for Jordan Howard to run behind I think he can be extremely productive with the Miami Dolphins he's a he's a typical he looks like a typical Brian Flores guy like he wants to run the football Jordan Howard is not a, a a receiving back, but he's more of a power bruiser guy. Like he's going to lower his shoulder, run you guys over, get some extra yards. But that, I believe that that catching the ball out of the backfield is most likely going to be for Miles Gaskin and Patrick Layard. But I would if if you haven't watched Jordan Howard in the 2019 season, the games I probably would say that you most definitely should watch would probably be the Week Four game against the Green Bay Packers. You end up Ended up having like what 15 attempts, 87 yards, average of 5.8 yards a carry, scored two touchdowns. I'll probably say watch that game to get a clear idea of what the Miami Dolphins are adding to their backfield, their dead backfield. Like, like I said, we need we need some extreme help. Now, I'm also happy that we ended up signing Jordan Howard because of the fact that you don't know how many times I saw in the comment section last year about what do you think about the Miami Dolphins trading for Melvin Gordon? Because Melvin Gordon is still sitting out there in free agency. I did not want Melvin Gordon whatsoever because of the fact that he just could not stay healthy. Now, when you look at Melvin Gordon 2019, he played 12 games, but he ended up missing the four games because he ended up wanting to hold out for the new contract, and then he finally decided he wanted to show up and play. Uh, but in 2018, played 12 games. 2017 is the only only year that Melvin Gordon actually played all 16 games. And that's the only year he rushed for over 1,000 yards. Now, we go over this a million times when it comes to with running backs. 
unless they're transcendent, they usually do not get a second contract. And I believe that's what's going to end up being going to happen with Melvin Gordon. Well, excuse me. I wouldn't say a second contract. I say a, 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 a major contract, like a, a break the bank contract, something like Ezekiel Elliott got. That's just that's just what it is when it comes down to running backs. So, yeah, I'm I'm a little I'm relieved. I'm really relieved that we did not break the bank for Melvin Gordon because, like I said, he's just not he's just not reliable to be quite honest with you. And I guess this would eliminate us possibly getting a running back in in this year's upcoming draft whether it be DeAndre Swift or Jonathan Taylor, uh, we can end up keeping one of those first-round picks for possibly another offensive lineman or if we decide we want to do something else. I'm not. I, I'm trying to keep everything under hush-hush right now because I got quite a few videos coming out. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Again, I appreciate everybody checking out the video again. Um not too sure how many videos I'm going to have coming out today. A lot can happen from now until the time I close this laptop at the end, at, by tonight. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, again, this is Greg Wendevore. I'm up out of here.